Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Becca with House Living Vermont, and today is Friday, December 27th, 2019. And I wanted to do a couple of quick reads to see what's going on with the uh, Mango Mussolini DJT for the month of January uh, 2020, the new year. So um, I pulled a box spread and I pulled four before, four after to get this of the man card to signify him. And let's see here, we have the letter, the bear, the storks. Down this column, we're seeing the house, the man, and the lilies. And then here we're seeing the garden, the scythe, and the uh, crossroads. Uh, well, central to his, right here, we're seeing that he's still waiting on um, articles from the house. Um, they have not yet been delivered as he's waiting here with the lilies. Um, here we're seeing some sort of letter of retirement here, quite possibly with someone that is uh, represented by the bear. Um, they're leaving here with the storks. Um, the storks are migratory birds. They leave and return. So perhaps someone here that is signified by the bear. Um, I don't know if this is Pompeo or Barr. It's a very large person in a position of authority. Um, like the manager, the CEO of their respective department. Um, this person may be leaving this way as the letter knights here to the lilies, which is uh, a letter of resignation retirement here. And it could also be in regards to the articles of impeachment, the letter knights over here to the scythe, a letter, mail, a notice of separation of a cut um, that he's still waiting on. Down this column, we're seeing um, that the public um, is changing this way. Um, they're upgrading, they're changing their choice, their decision on him being removed. The poll numbers here with the crossroads um, mirrors here to the um, storks, which means that there's an upgrade within the polls that support him being removed this way removing this man from the public the polls increase they, they go up um here we're seeing with the garden knighting over here to the lilies this could be the conservative party the gop the senate um i said articles of impeachment notice of a retirement and he's still waiting on those articles of impeachment here with the lilies it doesn't appear that they've been delivered just yet the house here knights over to the storks um this could be talking about a change of residence it could also be talking about the house is upgrading and changing something and the house um has a choice or a decision to make and there's also quite possibly down this column here multiple articles um card number 22 for the crossroads the number two is very significant so this could be in reference to the two articles of impeachment but when i look at these mirrors here there may be something that gets upgraded and changed like they add to this or to this some way somehow so let's keep an eye out for january to see if um they add more articles or there's more coming in because this is showing several documents here um, but they're they're changing and upgrading something and then with the garden knighting to the lilies this is talking about the Senate um, the Senate looks like they're moving towards uh, it's gonna be a little bit of time but they're slowly moving towards separation here um, a choice and that choice has to do with removing him from office um, and I had done a reading a while back I can't remember what reading it was that I said that the GOP was closely monitoring the polls to see where the public opinion is um, so it, it's showing up here again with the with the crossroads it's like the GOP is watching the polls and the polls are increasing they're going up there it's a positive change upwards um, in support of his removal so if this is him in the public he gets removed and separated here 
from the articles of impeachment, the two that are coming in. He's still waiting on it, but it looks like there's a change. Um, this way here, it's saying um, that someone in a position of authority or him, um, a boss, a manager, someone in a position of authority, DJ team Mango Mussolini here, and then he gets cut this way. So this could be talking about the impeachment. And then, like I said earlier, there's a positive change, a positive uptick. It's it's a little bit slow. It's not super fast acting like it is here with the storks. Um, it's a just a little bit slower, but the polls continue to increase with the public wanting him removed. Um, let me see what else did I miss. Um, this is the notice or uh, something that's documented. This could be the articles of impeachment for the House. And then um, a large group of people. This could be the public and the Senate. Him being removed from his position of authority. And then the, the slow uptick in the polls uh, for public opinion favoring his removal. Um, we have one action card, action and action. Um, he's got three action cards really close by that are touching. Um, the Scythe is a very quick, fast acting card. Um, so it looks like the polls continue to go up in favor of him being booted. Um, let me see here, change of residence or an upgrade that's coming in from the house, some sort of a change that's coming from the house. And then here's a separation, multiple articles this way. And then this way we're seeing um, the garden with the lilies. This is the Senate, but it's also the public uh, is in favor of him leaving this way, leaving and returning, going um, somewhere else, moving out, changing residence with the uh, storks sniding over here to the house. That's a change of residence. So it looks like the like I said, the polls continue to go up in favor of his removal, change of residence, being removed from the public and being cut off from his position of authority, quite possibly an upgrade to the articles. Um, there's two here down this diagonal, and but he's still waiting. He's still waiting on it. Um, let me see if I can think of anything else and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this one here was to look at uh, Moscow Mitch for the month of January 2020. Um, we have the tree, the dog, the bear. We have the sun, the man, the key. And then we're seeing the coffin, the ship, and the anchor. This top line up here is talking about something to do with healthcare that he's trying to kill. Um, because this is health, all aspects of your health, your emotional health, spiritual, mental, physical. That's been very successful, and he's trying to kill that. Uh, the tree is knighting over here to the ship. This would be like a, a vehicle that's used for health, so this could be in regards to like some sort of an ambulance. And this would here, um, we have the tree and the dog right below it. This could be in regards to uh, someone that helps you with your health, uh, so perhaps a doctor. So there's something going on here with him trying to kill health care. Um, down this row, we're seeing um, a lifelong friend and someone in a position of authority. Um, we're seeing that he is quite successful or something about him is being significantly exposed. And then we're seeing uh, an ending or a loss and then something foreign overseas that has reached its goal um, and, and it's stable. This person right here, I'm not quite sure who this is. Um, this could be Giuliani or, or somebody like that. This is this is a person in in uh, advisory role. They're not necessarily the boss. They're just there to support and help. Um, so this person and him, and then there's travel overseas. This person's been going overseas, far away. So this could be uh, in regards to Giuliani. Um, and then here we're seeing someone in a position of authority like a manager, a boss, a CEO that is very important and has reached a significant goal. So this could be uh, Barr, this could be Pompeo, this could be Trump. Um, like I said earlier, the tree is knighting over here to the ship. That's an ambulance. Um, and here we're seeing a doctor. The dog is knighting over here to the coffin. Um, this is uh, the end of a friendship. 
also perhaps a very sick friend, uh, sick either mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, quite possibly depressed. This person has reached their goal. Um, it's like this person has been having a... They, it's a persistent illness here or a persistent loss. The ship or the bear knights over here to the ship, this could be in reference to um, a person that's large like a bear that's the CEO of a manager that has been going overseas far away. Um, also, quite possibly a foreign power represented by the bear. Um, the sun knights over here to the bear. So this is talking about uh, the exposure of this person, whoever this is, whether it's Russia, Bar, Pompeo, um, because they're going overseas to reach a goal. And then that um, success, long-term success here. Um, the key is knighting over to the tree. So that's um, something significant that has to do with health and the end of health. So like I'm saying, top of the reading here is like he's trying to kill health care. And this person is in charge to reach the goal, whoever this is. And I know that, um, what's his face? What is his face? Uh, Barr has been using the Justice Department to kill the ACA. Um, I'll have to read on him separately or, or the ACA separately because here it says that he's reached the goal and uh, this thing is dead. But this way it's saying that it sticks. If this would have been down here, um, being the final card in the box spread, it would be more like the, the ending sticks, but it's kind of like, it. this is still ongoing. So moving into January, he's, <clears throat> excuse me, he's quite literally, the most important thing on his mind is ending healthcare this way, killing that. Um, let me see what else. Press friend. Yeah, killing healthcare. Um, and then this person going overseas for evidence. Um, if I look at the corners, this is um, <clears throat> health ends, health loss um, permanently through this person here. Bar. Um, but down this way, it's looking like, so it looks like they're continuing to work on killing ACA. Um, hmm. There's success overseas from an important friend. So this is Giuliani. Giuliani's playing into this. Um, let me read on Giuliani and I will be right back. Hey everyone, welcome back. This one is a quick one for the little goblin um, for January, 2020. So we're seeing the anchor, the woman, the ship, the coffin, the man, which is him, the storks, and then the book, the birds, and the moon. Uh, we can see here that he has not been able to reach his goals in regards to a super secret black box that's highly confidential. This could be in regards to the server. Um, he hasn't been able to reach his goal there, um, but he's been doing something in private in regards to that. Uh, we can see a woman here and him and they're talking or they're in some sort of a meeting or they're negotiating something. Um, this could also be in reference to the meetings, um, the long-term meetings that they've been having that's in that highly classified black box that has the conversations inside. There's a woman on him. Um, so I don't know if this is Pelosi or somebody else that may be looking into that. Um, and then we're seeing uh, travel by air for his career and his reputation. So it looks like He's still on, he's still doing a lot of traveling, going far away, leaving and returning here. So he's leaving far away and then he's returning. Um, and it's something here to do with achieving his goal in his career and his reputation. We all know that it's conspiracy based and totally bogus, but whatever. He's nuts. Um, we can see here uh, a stable woman that is overseas, a persistent woman that is overseas, a woman that's slow walking something um, that's foreign, 
that's overseas far away. Uh, we can see here that he's quite depressed, but he's overcoming something about that depression. And then here we're seeing uh, secret meetings and negotiations that have taken place that uh, become recognized. Um, there's an end to something overseas. There's a loss overseas, and then there's a loss in his career and his reputation. Um, there's a transfer of secrets with the book knighting over here to the storks. Uh, secrets that are being transferred or upgraded, changed this way. So it could be something quite literally in a black box that's highly classified, that's housing the conversations that we've already heard about. So uh, the national security server that they've been putting the conversations in. Because this woman is hearing something about that server. So with the birds, this is a small group of people, no more than a dozen, okay? So, um, and then there's a pair of women and a pair of men here. So um, this could be in regards to perhaps the gang of eight um, that have access to this super secret black box that's highly classified. Um, and they may be uh, listening to it or holding meetings and negotiations about what they're going to do about that server that they've kept all the conversations in because here it shows that it gets recognized. It becomes um, not public, but it gets recognized. This, uh, whatever they've been holding shows the achievements here, uh, long-term career success here. So whatever's in there, this woman may be in a meeting or holding meetings in regards to what's up in there. Um, the coffin is right here, catty cornering the birds. So this could quite literally be like a small group of people, like about eight. So perhaps the gang of eight. Um, and then there's a change and a transfer, an upgrade, and then that woman. So that could be um, Pelosi. She knights over here to the book. She has secrets or she has knowledge about what he's been doing in his career. Um, there is a trip here that comes to an end. Um, there's uprooting and a change, and a change that's in secret. Something's been changing and being upgraded in secret, also a secret that is revealed, that gets out somehow. And this could be also in reference to the whistleblowers. Um, there's ongoing negotiations and meetings and discussions. Um, a career woman that's highly recognized. She has long-term career success here. She's been around 30 years or so with the anchor down this diagonal to the moon. About 30 years or so she's been there. There's secrets uh, from overseas or secrets um, that he's taking when he goes on vacation, goes far away. Um... Long-term secrets um, in his career overseas or his reputation overseas. So it looks like there's something still going on, perhaps with the gang of eight um, that have knowledge. And this woman is being persistent here. She's being very slow um, with the anchor. This is not very fast acting. So she's being uh, very slow, slow walking something. This is not something that happens quickly about something that has been taking place overseas. Um, so perhaps something to do, even though we don't have the letter here, something that has to do with um, foreign policy, perhaps. But she's been very patient and um, kind of slow walking stuff. This guy is depressed. And then there's some sort of change um, in regards to his depression. Also here with the birds, like I said earlier, um, this is usually a pair. And he's got the man right before it. So it could be his conversations with Lev and Igor as well. Because there's a pair of men here and a pair of women here. Um, hmm. So there may be some stuff going on with that super secret classified server that they're keeping the phone calls and the meetings in. And what this guy knows and uh, what he's been doing overseas. Because he's transferring secrets here. There are secrets that are being talked about here. Um, so I don't know if this guy had access to classified information when he should not have had access to classified information because he does not have a clearance. He's not a government official. 
whatever it is. Um, but there are secrets here that are going overseas and secrets that are being talked about here. Someone's blurting out a bunch of stuff that they shouldn't be, as well as the server that has the conversations inside and the whistleblower and how we know about that. But this is ongoing with this woman here. So I'm assuming this is Pelosi. So, and then two men and two women. So perhaps Levin Igor and him. And I don't know who the other woman would be with this pair. So please let me know. I'm going to take a quick look at Bar and I will be right back. Okay, everyone. So I thought I would go ahead and do Bar uh, for January 2020. Um, I went ahead and did this box spread. Oh, I wanted to say um, for Johnny at Tarot's Apprentice, um, I'm sorry I didn't see your comment when my sister and I did the live stream. Um, I went back and watched it so I could read the comments. And um, I saw that you had asked where I had gotten um, these pieces. Um, this is an amethyst. I dropped it when I was cleaning it, so I chipped a big old chunk out of it. Um, this here, um, this quartz in the matrix here, um, as well as this amethyst and this quartz here. Um, I got all of these pieces at um, Home Goods. Um, they were relatively inexpensive. I don't think they were more than 20 bucks. So you may want to check Home Goods um, to see if they have them in your area. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, but for this one here, um, Bar, January 2020. So we're seeing the coffin, the key, the whip, the dog, him, the sun, and then the um, cross, the bouquet, and the uh, birds. We can see here that um, what is on his mind is a very depressed friend that's going to be sacrificed this way. Um, or the death of a friend that was sacrificed. So this could be um, the little goblin as well as Mr. Epps because he's catty cornering here to the bouquet, which is usually a woman that is younger, very beautiful. Um, we can see here that uh, he has a significant or very important gift, or he's pretty happy about something. I don't know what that is. I don't know if he's happy with sacrificing this person or people, whoever that is. Um, this could also be in regards to uh, Lev and Igor. This here is talking about uh, some serious illumination around uh, abuse that's being illuminated due to somebody that spoke, quite possibly the whistleblower. We can see here a very important ending, very significant loss that is causing a lot of trouble. Um, this could be a death, literally, by um, strangulation here with this person knighting down here. Um, with the whip, this is something that is usually used to punish. So like a belt, a leather strap, uh, something that um, kind of looks like a whip and it's usually um, a physical activity abuse, like a physical fight. Okay, so he may have that with Mr. Epps on his mind and a very important death due to strangulation or a very important death that is going to be huge amounts of trouble and then here the death of a friend that was sacrificed um, also a depressed friend that is being sacrificed this person was going to illuminate something or this person will be illuminating something and then here we're seeing guilt punishment um, some sort of forgiveness for this for speaking so this could be in regards to also Lev and Igor um, let me see here uh, there's an illness or a death or a passing or a loss. Um, and then there's some sort of a recovery or happiness that comes out of that. Um, a, an important sacrifice, important burden, important, um, very significant burden. This person is arguing and criticizing, fighting. And then there's a pair here that are talking. So again, this could be in reference to Lev and Igor. Um, there's an ending or a loss, punishment, and a burden or a trial, and then verbally arguing here. Um, 
So this could be, like I said again, quite possibly Lev and Igor speaking, um, telling everything that they know. Let me see. Important conversations, important meetings, people that are very important that are speaking, holding meetings, phone calls, conversations, negotiations. Um, here we're seeing uh, something physical like exercise or SEX for pleasure. SEX for uh, with perhaps a pair of um, uh, the bouquet here is the queen of spades. Um, so this is in reference to uh, women that will be talking. Um, because there's a lot of important negotiations here. There's a pair of advisors here, and there's two men here. But he's got this on his mind. This could be Mr. Epps. This could also be in reference to the little goblin and his two associates, because this knight's down here. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up here. Um... Yeah, because this is S-E-X for pleasure or S-E-X. That's really good and enjoyable. Good in the sheets. Um, and there may be some sort of evidence around that. Around the passing evidence and then S-E-X here. Or a passing or a loss that causes a, a lot of problems and anger and arguing and criticism. Hmm. Let me do the Senate. I don't want to make this video too, too long, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my last one for today. I hope this video is not too long. Um, this box spread here, I chose the cards, <clears throat> excuse me, randomly, and this is for the GOP Senate for um, January 2020. We're seeing the moon, the storks, the um, whip, the ring, the fish, the heart, the book, the scythe, and the um, coffin. Central to the reading, we got the fish. This is in regards to the market, stocks. Um, also in regards to money, business, um, um, trade, uh, imports and exports, okay? So we're seeing here something very important that's happening in their careers. People are leaving or and returning, and then there's significant arguing here. Uh, we're seeing a commitment to the money or markets or business. Um, they're quite passionate about it, a love of money, a contract for money, um, contract for uh, businesses. This could be in regards to a budget. And then there's something secret that they don't know about, um, a separation and an ending here. This could be uh, in regards to keeping uh, the decisions private to end the presidency because this here is um, quite possibly uh, the cutting off of uh, someone's career here and their reputation. Um, so this could be in regards to uh, impeachment uh, coming to an end or separating someone and ending it. Uh, here we're seeing that there are secrets in regards to people's reputations. Um, but their like uh, their their reputation and their careers, the contracts and agreements that they've made that are being kept secret. Um, this here is the change in the stock markets or the change in money, the change in businesses get cut off here. Um, so if this is in regards to the stocks, it might go up and down, up and down. Because this way, this is change, and then this way here with down this diagonal, it's. Um, it's a pattern of abuse. There, there shows a pattern. So perhaps they're privy to some sort of pattern in the stock market um, of it rising and falling. Because here it's showing that the improvement in money gets cut off. Um, improvement in stocks gets cut. Uh, the improvement in the markets get cut. Um, this could also be in reference to the donors. Um, the, perhaps the donors have a change of heart and decide to cut some of them off. And then here we're seeing sexual affairs that end this way. Um, I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't see the writer or the letter, which 
could mean that perhaps some people are being blackmailed. Um, but there's sexual affairs here that come to an end or a sexual affair here that's uh, they're trying to keep under wraps from coming out because it could it has the possibility of ending careers this way. Um, there is a change that happens in secret and a change that doesn't happen here. A change that comes to an end or a change that brings an end. Um, we are seeing a broken promise here and a change of heart this way with this diamond here. Um, someone's career and reputation is in danger or perhaps several of their careers and reputations are in danger. Um, a change in private or a change in secret and a change for an ending here. Um, there is abuse and criticism that swiftly gets cut off. And um, with the ring knighting over here, there is a commitment to arguing. But because this is here a, a sexual affair, this could also be in regards to a ring of this abuse and um i'm sorry i have to speak in code but you know youtube um sex this way um and perhaps there's people that were members that were paying money for affairs this is a uh, marriage um business and affairs and here we have a sexual affair so there may be something that a few of them are trying to keep in private so that um it doesn't create scandal because this is scandal in regards to sexual affairs that uh, are buried or they don't want coming out because the heart is knighting over here to the book. This is a secret affair and affairs that will perhaps taint their reputations. Um, here we're seeing an abundance also with the fish. It's something that's in abundance. So a change for abundance uh, get swiftly cut. Um, but there's a change of heart and a broken promise here to separate and end someone, but it's like they're wanting to do this in private. Um, behind closed doors here with the coffin. And it looks like they're talking about all of this. Perhaps someone that has broken a promise and they've had a change of heart. Something to do with sexual affairs, an abusive ring. Uh, keeping people's careers and identities private here, uh, someone's career and reputation, how you're, how you're recognized, keeping it quiet, putting a lid on it, uh, not talking, um, something that comes to an end, and then there's criticism here, criticism and abuse. Um, with the whip knighting over to the um, scythe, this could be in regards to weapons that are very quick acting, okay? So um, we know who that is, and it's memberships that people pay here, okay? Even though I'm not seeing the garden, so I can't talk about um, uh, the NRA, but there's a contract here for money, perhaps through donations of some sort, uh, because this is money that is being uh, generous here and a love of money. They're committed to the money, the generosity here for weapons. So perhaps they're wanting to keep that quiet as well. It looks like there's a crap ton of scandal um, here. NRA, uh, sexual relationships, payment for relationships, these types of relationships, an abusive ring here, a change of heart in private, um, changing something in private to cut off and put an ending to something to not risk having their careers and their reputations tainted um the career money comes to an end career money um shuts down this way so they may be looking at the scandals as well with the memberships into a, an organization that has weapons um and how they're going to lose donations that way um and then also in the stocks, there's a pattern here in the stocks where things go up and then they and then it's a swift, sudden uh, fall this way. It gets swiftly cut off. So I would not be surprised, nor I don't think any of you would, that perhaps some of these people have insider knowledge of um, the volatility of the markets here because this is money that's volatile. Also here, money laundering as well. 
um, perhaps through some sort of organization that has weapons that donates money. Um, or it's coming through the donations of money. Um, so, But it's from donors. It's from donors, um, people that are being generous with their money. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. Thank you so much for being with me here today, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.